go shopping. Mm, want it, then I cop it. Hey, yo. Hey, y'all, period. So today I am back with another video. And this is the part two of the YouTube ideas. You feel me? So YouTube ideas part two. Y'all already know about the title. Period. I'm going to be giving y'all 10 more video ideas on how to boost your YouTube channel. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, make sure you like the video and comment. And we're going to get into the video. Clothing hauls is number one. That's the first thing that's on YouTube Ideas list part two. Um, I feel like any clothing video, like if you're making something, sewing something, gluing something, if it has to do with clothes, a lot of people are going to want to watch it. Because it's not just like a female type of thing with clothes. A lot of males, like especially today, like a lot of males are like making prom dresses and making clothes and stuff like that. So everybody going to want to watch it. And especially like, you know, obviously I like a DIY thing in the other video. You know, like anything with DIY clothes, like you're going to get a lot of views on it. No events or what's about it. But clothing hauls, people want to see like... And then that's when you can get sponsored by that as well. But people want to see what you do, like what type of clothes you wear. You know, they want to see, they want to get reviews on the clothes before they go and order it. They want to see how it fits on you. If the clothes, you know, like if the website got like a good quality. They want to see if, I don't know, if they really got that cute stuff. Or how long it takes to come. Because when I did the Sheen clothing haul, it took about three weeks to come. So, a lot of people weren't too happy about that, but they did like the clothes and they did like the outfits and how I put them together. The next thing would be a lookbook. So, that's number two. Number two is a lookbook. When it, a lookbook is basically when you put clothes together, like not together, but like when you put on outfits and show them, like maybe after you do the clothing haul, do a lookbook and show like the outfits that you would wear. Like, a clothing haul you could just be showing all shirts at one point in the video and the all pants but lookbook is you showing I don't know how to put it a lookbook is basically like showing what outfits like all of the items that you got from your clothing haul what exactly would you wear with it and where would you wear that like maybe this you know you put on like this shirt and some jeans and some pair of Uggs. I don't know. But you would say this is like an outfit, you know, you would show it off, so tell them where you got the shirt from, where you got the jeans from, where you got the shoes from, and say, you know, this is where I would wear this, why I would wear it there, and that's it. And you just do a couple of outfits. It can be like five or six outfits, honestly, as long as you get a couple of outfits, show them, well, tell them where you got it from, and show them how it looks, then they want to watch it, because I I've been needing some outfit ideas, you know. It's really just a video about outfit ideas instead of just pictures like how they do on Instagram. You do a whole video. Simple. Number three would be a wash day tutorial. People like, like, I personally used to watch it. I don't know why though, because I don't do all that special stuff washing my hair, so y'all probably won't be getting the wash day tutorial from me. But when people, especially people with like bleached hair, how they wash their hair or like people that are professionals, how they wash their client's hair or how to wash your child's hair the best way or new products to try on your hair when you're washing it. People love to see that. So that'll be number three. Number four would be hygiene videos. A lot of kids want to see hygiene videos because like, like suppose like a girl, but she look like a how she supposed to know how to you know like yeah so hygiene videos it it's a lot like if you look up hygiene videos or like a hygiene vlog or a girl talk or a boy talk but nine times out of ten i see a girl talk um i might do one of those but when you do those it's basically just like helping younger girls or helping girls like your age you know with tips about hygiene that they might not have known or helping people out with It could be some how to keep your breath fresh tips. It can be some how to properly shave or how to how long to use net. Like you can tell them anything like in there that has to do with hygiene so it can help them out. Because you know, you watch the videos and they be like, 
or like their my horror story like my period horror story something like that that's same in the same category as a hygiene video because you gotta tell them like how to keep their stuff clean how to keep their stuff together keep the hygiene all the way up there you know and yeah so number five would be trending videos trending videos of any kind honestly it can be like a 12 second video but if it's trending everybody want to see it because it's trending so make a trending video and it's not really a lot to say about that a trending video is a trending video like how everybody was posting the cinnamon challenge how everybody was posting the drake song the 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 kiki if you love me that song and it was like in a little car everybody posted that even though it's about like a minute video but you're gonna get a lot of views on it and the more views you get on a smaller video the quicker the views go up number six will be story times you can tell a story about Oh, I wrote them down. Okay. He can tell a story time about like your first time doing something, your first time going to Disney World, your first time, your first time, your first time going to, or like your first time getting into a fight. People always want to see those. Or your first time getting cheated on or your first time falling in public. Like people don't care as long as your first time doing anything, people are gonna watch it because they wanna know your experience. And so maybe somebody went through the same thing. But if they watch yours they're like, dang, like my experience wasn't that bad, you know? Or like dang she don't got nothing on my experience, you know? So it's gonna be like that. If I keep saying you know, don't mind that. Just don't mind that. Number seven was collection videos, okay? I kind of want to do it once I get a little bit more glasses because I am like obsessed with glasses. I'm going to do a um, collection video of glasses, okay? But you can do a collection video on shoes. A lot of people do shoe collections. You can do a clothing collection or a specific clothing brand collection. You can do a lot. You can do, um, like it's collections of any kind honestly collections of like posters or pokemon cards or if it's a collection i'm quite sure it's a lot of people in the world that are also interested in your collection because they want to have that collection or they also have the collection or something close to the collection you know so the eighth one would be cooking videos okay cooking videos their cooking videos, they're like, even, I feel like cooking videos, because I never made a cooking video, but I feel like a cooking video, either cooking videos can get you a lot of likes really quick, or it might take a couple of years. Because I see a lot of cooking videos, like if I'm looking up how to do this to like, like a hack to like make something quicker, it might only have like a thousand views, and it's been out for about five or six years. But some people got some extravagant stuff that they made and that probably has a million views. So it that's really a hit or miss type of thing. So y'all can try it, but I'm not going to try it because I, you know, some people can't cook in the kitchen with stuff recording them and I'm that person, you know, I can't have too much going on in the kitchen. I just need to cook and get out of there before I burn the house down because it'd be like that sometimes. But Speaking of cooking, muffins, you know. Well, speaking of food, muffins. So, um, muffins, you can eat anything. You can do a seafood boil or you can do a video of you making a seafood boil and then make another video of you eating it. Boom. You can make a video of you making some candy. You can do a video of you making the fried oils. That get a lot of views. Making fried oils, especially making fried oils for the first time. So y'all can do McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, Cheesecake Factory, um, Starbucks, anywhere. It, it don't matter. It can be a fast food restaurant. It can be a real, like, it can be Crafty Crab. If y'all don't know what Crafty Crab is, Crafty Crab is like a seafood place um in Baltimore well in Towson so and it's one of White Marsh but y'all probably don't know what Towson and White Marsh is in Baltimore you know we go to Crafty Crab to get our seafood boils there you go there you go so number 10 would be unpopular opinions unpopular opinions on 
anything it does not matter what it is it can be an unpopular opinion on school most people do unpopular opinions on songs unpopular opinions on church it can be like unpopular pink whatever you think is an unpopular opinion to you and that video might not get like super good comments because you know everybody has their own opinion and some people don't understand that but unpopular opinions get a lot of views because people want to know like especially when you put on your thumbnail like specific things and they're like watch what she mean like i'm about to watch this because why she got mcdonald's on a thumbnail talking about unpopular opinion because she better not be saying that it's nasty because i like mcdonald's or something like that so people gonna watch it and again you're not gonna get that many positive comments you might you might but people don't respect other people's opinion so that video if you're a really positive person and you don't want to see any negative comments i don't recommend that video but do it if you don't care what people got to say period but yeah y'all that was the 10th idea for you know boosting your youtube channel for part two like i did it i did it i did it but yeah so i didn't know that y'all was really gonna like the first one so i'm very excited that y'all like the first one and y'all wanted me to do a second one um you know stay tuned for my next video i'm posting a reaction tomorrow and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at international.tnt. Don't forget to add me on Snapchat at TaraRiki21. That's T-A-R-A-E-R-R-K-Y-2-1. And I will see y'all in the next video. Now you've been served. I like a dot with a little bit of curve. Hit this bitch with an uppercut.